All right, everyone, Dan here, SPG One Tactical, and I'm with one of my new best friends here, Brian. Brian, I've been coming to SHOT Show only for three years, so I'm still getting a lot of the new stuff and, and, and learning this process, but what I like to do is look for things that are really, I call it innovative, right? It's a buzzword, uh, it's, yeah. it really is a buzzword, but look for things that are innovative. And in the world of ballistics, in the world of rounds, you know, there's a lot of buzz. There's, there's always the new hotness, there's always the new cartridge coming out, there's always the, it's the, the this killer or the that killer, or it's the best thing since sliced bread. But I can say, when I came out and I met you guys at range day, uh, this blew me away. This absolutely blew me away. Um, so what we have here, folks, is the 6 Max. This thing, I'm gonna let Brian really take all of the details and explain to you what's going on here, but this thing is phenomenal. When you start thinking about a, a specialty round that will probably become a mainstay round at some point, you're able to take your basic AR-15 style rifle, change the barrel, and get mags that are affordable mags, and fling anywhere from 58 to 105 grain round, uh, five grain projectiles, at really awesome velocities, yeah, putting a velocities. lot of kinetic energy <laughs> yeah. downrange with the recoil impulse of, if, if a 5.56, five, something really controllable. That's not much recoil at all. It's very soft. Very, very soft. That's impressive. So I've been super impressed with this. I don't want to keep regaling y'all with, with my feelings. I want to get you some, some data straight from the man, Mr. Brian Cook. Okay. So Brian, tell us about the Six Max. Where, where did it come from? What, where are uh, we going with this? What's going on? Yeah, it basically started just trying to maximize the, uh, the energy output of a, an M4A1 platform for our guys uh, after 20 years of being in the, in the desert. Uh, in order to do that, you need you need more powder capacity. When the when the uh, Winchester came out with the, the the 350 Legend in 2019, it was operating on the the stock 378 bolt head, right? And it held a lot more powder than a than a 556. So we knew there was something there. We we necked the shoulders uh, down to six mil and used a high high BC bullet on a six mil and had enough powder to uh, to use the the heavier velocities and higher BCs of the bullets. Fantastic. So it, it now added, tell me, just, just real quick, quick, like uh, you were getting in um, on long distance. You're staying, to, I think it's your 105 grain. You're staying supersonic out to upwards of 1,300 yards, correct? Uh, yeah, the, one, the 103 ELDX 103, okay. yep. has a, about a 265 uh, G7, and it'll stay supersonic well past 1,000 yards. Supersonic well past 1,000 yards with... You said 103, 103 grain rounds. So yep. you know you compare that. You, you talk about things like six five creed more or or larger, and you're getting that out of something manageable, I've something never, size. Never heard of before in a, in a in a stock M4 platform or right. M16 or AR15. It's amazing. So at range day, I'm going to throw some some B footage up here. At range day, we were getting out of a 10 and a half inch SBR 58 grain round yep. 3,000 feet per second at the muzzle. It's at Sammy pressure, yeah. At Sammy pressure, right? So <laughs> we're not tearing up the bolt, we're Correct. not breaking, it's it's gonna handle a lot better. Um, you know, then we had, a, it was a 14 and a half, correct? Correct. It was a 14 and a half, we were slinging 105 grain round. So now we're talking 40 more grains, you know, 50 yeah. more grains than standard and five, a lot six. more mass on target. You know, say only, but 23, 2400 feet per second. But it had so much kinetic energy at 50 yards, we actually broke a piece of steel out of there. <laughs> like, yeah. just knocking it off the mount. Like, yeah. that was really solid. Yeah. Um, so talk to me a little bit. So. I'm an engineer. I like to I like to nerd out about certain things. Um, explain to me why they call it the arc killer. Well, the the significance is there's the loadout of the gun in a, in a military environment. There's no no loss in round count. So okay. a twenty round mag is a twenty round mag. You don't lose any round count because you have an oversized case body. Uh, you're running on a, a three seventy eight bolt head. So we're not we're not stressing the bolt lugs they're not highly modified exactly. to fit a, a larger cartridge uh, we're maintaining every the integrity or what we call it the type service order of the gun the bolt carrier group the bolt the buffer everything is, is stock m4a1 
And like I said, just a barrel and a. And that's <laughs> the that's the magic behind barrel. it is we're extracting. You know, we have the efficiency and we're extracting the energy out of the gun without having to modify everything to do it. Exactly. So the reliability is there. So we got high round count, Sammy pressure, so we're not blowing or, or aggressively right. outliving any particular parts or anything. Um, getting these phenomenal velocities all in a standard AR platform. So you can run this thing as a carbine or you can run it realistically depending on how you accurize the barrel or how length barrel length, right. what you like. It, this can be an all purpose round. We right. can go from short, sweet and happy yep. uh, all the way up to long distance precision. That's exactly right. From 10 and a half inch to 24 inch barrel, depending on what your shooting discipline is. Exactly. Accommodate it. I can tell you this much guys, I am definitely gonna be building one of these. Uh, it's my intent to, to get something in that 18 to 20 inch range. I wanna go out and, and, and drop some jaws out of some, some PRS matches. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna we, make people go, what the heck was that? <laughs> yeah, we, we did that quite a bit during R&D. We took a, a 12 and a half inch upper suppressed and took it out to a PRS bolt gun match and, yeah. fi and finished middle of the pack, middle to upper. With a 12 and a half inch barrel, and people were at the Com beginning they competing were like, with agorized yeah, higher. They, were, uh, they knew something rounds. was going on, they weren't quite sure. And after the match, they were like, What exactly is that? Exactly. <laughs> All right, so talk to me about um, as of right now, this is a production available round, right? You can Correct. purchase ammo and you can purchase mags. Correct. Uh, who makes the mags again? Duramag. Duramag makes the mags, and correct me if I'm wrong, they're, they're only like 17 bucks, right? Yeah, they're, they're ranged 17 to 20, 22 17 bucks. 17 to 20 bucks. Yeah. So I don't know. Mags can get expensive, so it's nice to know that even though we have this new, if you will, specialty round, yep. it's not it's not going to be expensive to get into. Correct. That's the even better part. Just a barrel and magazines, and you're into an absolutely amazing round. That's it. Yep. So to sum up, we've got a round here that is manageable, recoil friendly, versatile, lots of kinetic energy, lots of velocity, competes with rounds that are even much larger than itself. Yep all in an amazing familiar package. Yeah, and it turns into a, a true hunting platform too. Or deer, uh, absolutely. deer and pigs and all, all of that. You have a six mil bullet now that really is effective on them. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Anything else I'm forgetting or missing? Uh, I don't think so. I think you covered it. All right, Brian, absolute pleasure. Yep. This has been a phenomenal find at SHOT Show. I am so excited that I found this because I have definitely found my new platform uh, for on that more precision side of things. So until next time, Stay safe, stay smart, and stay tactical, my friends.